So here are some more math questions that relate to the Chem Regents exam. These are all math questions that have to do with heat, which is Q. And what I'd like you to do is pause the video if you haven't gone ahead and solved these questions and then come on back for answers. These are all questions from the 2017 Regents exams. Okay, welcome back. Check out your answers, and I'll do some explaining. Okay, so, for question 8, determine the quantity of heat, that's Q, released when 2 grams of liquid water freezes at 0. So, we need to know where you are, of course, as far as the equations go, because there are three heat equations. Now, heat of fusion, that's for melting and freezing. Heat of vaporization, of course, is for vaporizing or condensing and then Q is equal to MC delta T is when I am in one phase so I'm either heating or cooling of course the substance and then reference table B we have all the constants for water so for water you're not going to be given them you have to know to look them up on the front of the reference table okay so for this problem heat of fusion is here melting or freezing Right, solid to liquid, liquid to gas. So I need Q is equal to M H F. And of course the mass is two. And from the reference table, the heat of fusion for water, three hundred and thirty-four. So three hundred and thirty-four joules per gram, and that's where the six six eight joules comes from. For number nine, now we're dealing with a 15.1 gram sample. It's absorbed, it's of a metal, so it's not water now, so we can't use the front of the reference table. We have a Q of 48.75 joules. Temperature is increased 25K, so we have a delta T. We're looking for the specific heat capacity. So with this, we're going to use Q is equal to MC delta T. We're going to be looking for the specific heat capacity of this metal. So it's 48.75, that's Q, is equal to 15.1, that's the mass. C is our X, or our unknown, and delta T is 25. Okay, so get C alone. Multiply 15.1 times 25, and you're going to divide that into 48.75, and you should get choice 1. Okay, let's look at question 10. Now we have, we're looking for joules of heat which is Q, to raise the temperature of 435 grams of water, so we're back to water again, 1, TM, 1 ATM, excuse me, from 25 to 100 degrees Celsius. So, since we have a temperature change, we're going to once again use Q is equal to MC delta T. So let me just erase some of this, and let's go ahead and plug in. So we want Q. Rm is 435. Rc, of course, is on the reference table, and it is 4.18. 4.18 and times delta T. So it's 100 minus 25, which is 75. Delta T for Celsius and Kelvin. So one change in Celsius is equal to one change in Kelvin. The Scales are off by 273, but the delta T's, you can plug in either Celsius or Kelvin. When you go ahead and plug in, you're going to get an answer with a lot of zeros. You have to put it into scientific notation, and your answer is choice 2. The last one here, question 11, it's the amount of heat, so Q again, required to completely melt. So we're back over here again. Uh, 200 gram, of sam gram sample of water. Okay. So Q is equal to MHF, so that's going to be 200 grams times the 334, which is on the front of the reference table, and you get choice 3. Check out some more questions. Keep working hard. Please like the videos. A big thumbs up would help. Subscribe to the channel. I'm, I also put some physics stuff on every now and again. And just keep working hard, and good luck.